damn good start for Zach Wheeler yesterday, uh, especially with uh, the fact that he was coming off of the COVID list. Uh, he was coming, still coming off that injury. And now you look at his last couple of starts here. In his last uh, four starts, uh, you're looking at this from uh, b -b 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 Zach Wheeler. You're looking at six innings, no runs, seven and two-thirds, no runs, five and a third, three runs. Uh, Philly still got the win. And then last night, four hits, seven innings, no runs, nine strikeouts. That's a pretty damn good outing for Zach Wheeler. And one that makes you feel like, okay, he's a he's back. Thousand times percent, thousand percent, he is back, and that was the type of performance you wanted to see from him last night. Going seven strong, seven strong. Alvarado came in, got the hold. Love that stat. Uh, and then this is what's amazing: Corey Canable comes in and got a four pitch save in the ball game. So that was great. Oh, and by the way, in those seven innings, in those seven innings for Zach Wheeler, just ninety seven pitches for him. So good, good for him. But the big things that come out of that, obviously, Zach Wheeler. JT Romuto's play in the field as well as uh, at the plate. He's finally able to get a hit. I uh, feel bad for Gene Segura a little bit. The uh, hitting streak ends at, I believe it was 13 games. He goes 0 for 4 last night. And Alec Bohm had a modest six game hitting streak going, and that ended. He took uh, the collar 0 for 4 last night. But good to see the Phillies making some things happen. Odubo Herrera had an RBI in this game as well. Reese Hoskins 1 for 3 uh, with two runs scored in the ball game, including the first inning run when he was plated by JT Real Muto. Overall, after you lose 3 nothing, after you uh, created all the good vibes as you did on the road trip, it was important to bounce back. They got a 105 start time today. Hopefully they win this series with the Padres and then uh, take care of business again against the Dodgers right after that. But Joe Girardi on the importance of bouncing back after getting shut out three to nothing and then winning three to nothing. I don't think we had a whole lot to hit. And that's what guys are supposed to do, right? Come back. You got to bounce back. And to have Zach on the mound was great today. Um, you know, JT has a big hit in the first inning. Um, a lot of little things that happened. I thought we were really patient the first inning. You know, yesterday we didn't walk. Now, part of that's the credit of their pitchers, but um, today we had a number of them. And just to come out and be able to do this tonight after yesterday, the frustrating loss on Sunday and then yesterday, it was nice to see. If the Phillies could just win a game today, get back to 500, and then just continue to take care of business. I need that run right now. Now, you, Darvish, is on the mound today for the Padres. Kyle Gibson goes for the Phillies. I need the Phillies to give us those warm and fuzzies again. I, I like make me look forward to September. Like that's what we're asking here, folks. Make me like make us look forward to September. Don't be one of those teams that's like hovering around 500 the whole year, and then maybe September they turn it on because I, I need some kind of reassurance that, that September is not going to be a total bust. And another important thing to take away from last night: Bryce Harper again not in the lineup. Expected to be back in the lineup tonight, today, this afternoon, and hopefully that's the case. But the fact that they did win this game without Bryce is always nice. You always put that in the back pocket. But as the season goes on, I just want to see this team continue to improve. I want to be convinced that they're an over 500 team for the vast majority of the year. And then hopefully I, I want to see the opposite happen in September. I don't want to see this team fall out of the hunt, basically go into September in the hunt, and then they just collapse and they fold like a cheap suit. I want to see this team go into September and slam dunk the season into the playoffs. Keep these good vibes going, as we've talked about before. Keep on hitting, as we've talked about before, and that will happen. And then you add maybe another arm at the deadline, and all's gravy from that point on. Uh, but great to see what the Phillies did yesterday uh, against the Padres. Uh, it felt like something something special was going to happen. Something good was going to happen for JT Real Muto. And I hate this term. And I think they even said it during the broadcast yesterday. JT's due. Whatever the hell that means, he's due. Yeah. And he was. And he came through for the fills, which was great to see. <laughs>